Why should you care about stopping Israel's rampage? It's not just about Palestine. The war machine is coming for you too. In fact, it's already here. First, Israel exports spyware and military technology everywhere. 4,000 personal devices exploded in an instant in a sovereign state by a foreign military at the push of a button. With the click of a button, you can bring down nations to their knees very rapidly, if you so desire. Israel's pager attacks in Lebanon were an act of pure terror, yet globalized media hailed it as a remarkable, sophisticated operation. But it's not the first time the world has been seduced by their advanced military tech. Take Pegasus, the most invasive and dangerous spyware ever created, developed by Israel and exported in exchange for diplomatic favors to states worldwide Pegasus infiltrates phones and devices without a trace. So if you are someone who thinks that you're safe because you use WhatsApp, which is end-to-end -end encrypted, or you use Signal, it really is meaningless. Activists, journalists, and critics have been trapped, imprisoned, tortured, or murdered by their governments. Even Macron's phone was reportedly compromised. If Pegasus can reach a European president, who's next? And all the devastation you see on your screen, it's a showcase. Every 16-meter crater dug in the ground by a missile and every building flattened is a live demonstration of Israel's arsenal. Their newest sniper drones, quadcopters, and explosives are being tested in Gaza and Lebanon, and just like you, eager buyers are watching, waiting to get their hands on these weapons. Israel exports billions of dollars worth of military equipment and training each year to major human rights abusers. Second. Institutions everywhere are adopting Israel's tactics of violent suppression. Israel's universities pump out research on security and lawfare to develop tactics that systematically silence, arrest, and kill Palestinians under the guise of state security. This model may already be at play where you live. Israel trains police and military forces around the world, teaching the lethal tactics it has tried and tested on Palestinians. It's not just the U.S. that funds and supports Israel in its occupation of Palestine. Israel is also offering the U.S. support in policing its own citizens. The U.S. sends thousands of police officers to Israel to learn new crowd control and racial profiling techniques. Remember George Floyd? Beyond the U.S., Israel also trains security forces in Colombia, Mexico, Rwanda, Egypt, and Hungary, teaching them methods often used to brutalize civilians. Third. Israel is a model for fascists everywhere. The Israeli occupation thrives on war, hate, and ethno-supremacy. It's no surprise, then, that Zionism's biggest supporters are some of the world's most notorious fascists. Donald Trump, Jair Bolsonaro, Javier Millet, Marine Le Pen, Viktor Orban, and Narendra Modi. In India, for example, Zionism is a direct inspiration for Hindutva nationalism. Modi's right-wing government displaces minority populations from their historic homes to make way for Hindu settlements, much like in the West Bank. How much is Israel's greenlit genocide emboldening the fascists around you? Wherever you are, Zionist tech, laws, and ideologies are infiltrating your governments, your schools, and your lives. The oppression of Palestinians is a blueprint for oppression everywhere. If we've learned anything, it's that Israel has no limits, no red lines, and no one to hold them accountable. That responsibility falls to us. Escalate, strike, disrupt, do not consume. Together, we can force our governments to act. While you have been searching for the perfect kid, Israel has killed six children every hour. Six children every hour. Six children every hour.